New tonight, a couple says they were called harsh names and told never to come back to an East Texas restaurant. They say this happened because they are gay. The men went to eat at Big Earl's restaurant in Pittsburgh for breakfast this morning. They say they enjoyed their food, paid for their meals, but tell our summer dash it's what the waitress said on their way out that ruined the whole experience. Now, we do want to warn you about this story. The person we interviewed uses a word that was used towards him today, and many of our viewers may find that word offensive. She said that we don't serve, um, can I say, fags here. We don't serve fags here. Colin Dewberry and his partner Kelly Williams say they have lived in East Texas their whole lives and have never been called that. We've never had that kind of hate displayed to us before. Then the waitress continued, they say. Here at Big Earl's, we like for men to act like men and for ladies to act like ladies. So we'll never, we want you to never return. They had eaten, paid, and had no idea they had done anything wrong. And it was just so nonchalantly. Like, I, like almost like she was reading a piece of paper. Well, she was. That phrase is posted on the front door of the restaurant. The owner tells me this sign has been here since the restaurant opened three years ago. He also tells me they have the right to refuse service to that couple in the future because they didn't follow this policy. Big Earl says it was their behavior, touching legs, that was against policy, not their sexual orientation. I didn't go where to expect to see what he was rubbing or anything else. It's not appropriate in a family restaurant that has a sign on the front door. We just don't do that here. And that waitress who used a derogatory term, that's Earl's daughter. She's a young lady, didn't know what else to say, and they finally, they just kept on. She finally said, and she said, we just don't want tax. He tells me the men were badgering her, and it's all on surveillance video, but he wouldn't let us see that. She didn't know what else to say. She was frust frustrated and, and flustered, you know, and they were going out just laughing, carrying on. I laughed. Uh, I, I was shocked. I didn't know really how to react. The owner says plenty of homosexual couples eat at his restaurant without hassle, and he has no problem with that, as long as they follow his policy. You're welcome to come and eat, but act, a man act like a man, a woman act like a woman, dress appropriately and act appropriately when you're in a public place. And when you say a man act like a man and a woman act like a woman, what do you exactly mean by that? The same thing it says, that a man's supposed to stand up and be a leader. He's not supposed to be a woman. He's not supposed to come in here in a dress. Reviews for the restaurant online have been flooded with reactions from people who have heard about the incident. And the reviews are, are very much in support of, of us and, and none of them. They say for them that makes this experience something powerful and rewarding. Summer Dash, KLTV 7 News. We've been monitoring the restaurant's Facebook page tonight, and there have been a lot of people who have come to the defense of Colin and Kelly.